General Hospital Thursday, September 19 Recap Cyrus blames Julian for Lulu's coma, Jason's dangerous game. Jason accuses cheater Sidwell, Holly, and Anna face off over stolen phone. Haver saves Alexis from prison attack, new BFF behind bars. Greetings to all General Hospital fans. Don't forget to subscribe for the latest updates. General Hospital Spoilers Recap for Thursday, September 19, reveals that Cyrus Renault visited Lulu Spencer's room at General Hospital and conceded he was kindly responsible for her dilemma. Still, Cyrus blustered about Julian Jerome botching the job and claimed Julian was really the one to condemn for Lulu's coma. After Cyrus made a vaticination about Lulu ever, he left a bitsy flower next to her. Dante Falconeri came on subsequently and set up that flower, so he grew concerned over arbitrary people visiting Lulu and questioned the staff. Dante also stopped by Isaiah Gannon's room and explained that he used to be married to Lulu. There was some talk about Lucky Spencer and how he'd probably be a good transplant match as long as his drinking hadn't affected his liver too much. Latterly, Cyrus visited Isaiah as someone who liked to do the Lord's work and spread comfort at the sanitarium. Isaiah learned that Lulu was Cyrus Bastard and joked around with him about sports. After Jordan Ashford picked up a burger and feasts for Isaiah, she intruded his discussion with Cyrus at General Hospital. Jordan instantly demurred Cyrus out and explained to Isaiah why the Joe was bad news. While Jordan handed over the takeout and helped Isaiah eat his feasts, Elizabeth Baldwin told Rick Lansing that a romantic reunion wouldn't be between them. Liz wanted to clear that up during their converse at Bobby's. Rick was thankful to just be musketeers and took what he could get when it came to Liz. Since Jocelyn made two numerous feasts, she brought over a handbasket that Liz and Rick wound up sharing. Giovanni Gio Palmieri arrived looking nervous and apologized to Joss for dishing about Carly Spencer bedroom hassle with Sonny Corintos. Jocelyn assured Gio that she wanted the updates and raised frustration over whatever Carly's involvement with Sonny was. Still, Gio helped Jocelyn see that perhaps she should just take a step back and let Carly make her own choices. After Rocco Falconeri came to the sanitarium, he told Dante that he'd to see Lulu. Dante advised Rocco that Lulu had gotten sicker since he last saw her and tied to prepare him. Rocco held Lulu's hand by her beside before giving her a vim talk and participating some stuff going on at Academy. At a cafe in Nairobi, Jen Sidwell was with Holly Sutton when he noticed Anna Devane with Jason Morgan Hard. Sidwell suggested he'd no way seen that woman in there ahead, but Holly faked covetousness and tried to put his attention back on her. Jason and Anna also caught a regard of Holly, so Anna bothered about whatever con she was running and the possibility that Holly would only look out for herself. As Anna and Jason strategized, they bandied how they demanded to get Sidwell's phone and copy the chip using commodity Jack Brennan gave Anna. That chip could offer the word they demanded to find Lucky. Anna encouraged Jason to join the near card game and keep Sidwell busy while she dealt with the phone situation. When Anna approached Holly soon after, Holly still admitted that Sidwell wasn't apprehensive they knew each other. Jason sat at the card table with Sidwell and revealed a drink on him so that Sidwell would have to remove his jacket. That gave Anna a chance to steal Sidwell's phone from the fund, but Holly spotted the theft and chased after her. As Anna tried to copy the chip, Holly appeared and called her out for having a phone that didn't belong to her. Back with Jason and Sidwell, they kept raising the stakes of the card table. Sidwell suggested that people who didn't recognize their bets ran into trouble, and also a near hand showed off the armament he'd been concealing. General Hospital spoilers say Sidwell and Jason's game is about to get indeed more dangerous, so stay tuned. General Hospital spoilers for Friday, September 20, reveal that Nina Reeves will push Drew Quartermain to hand over the arm at sunup and concentrate on his crusade, so he'll plan to let Curtis Ashford take on further liabilities. 
Curtis will tell Portia Robinson that effects are only going up from then, but also he'll get updates from Drew and worry about this new challenge. It could mean further hours down from Portia and their family, so Curtis will have to decide how important he's willing to immolate. Over with Willow Corinthos, she'll deal with further anxiety over her passions for Drew and the drama they could beget in her marriage. Still, Willow may also notice Drew's growing bond with Mena and feel a little weirded out over that too. Next, Michael Corinthos will get into a heated battle with Ned Quartermain, who'll angrily contend he can find him. Ned may have some way to detect Lucky Spencer and complain about all the other strategies taking too long. Lois Cirillo will ultimately come on as serve as a confidant for Ned, who'll do some venting on Friday's General Hospital occasion. As for Robert Scorpio, he'll question Jack Brennan about the word given to Anna Devane and Jason Morgan. Robert may lash out over Brennan, transferring Anna straight into peril and demand the rearmost news. Robert doesn't know it yet, but another bone of his spouse's is tangled up in the lucky mess. Holly Sutton just set up Anna with Jen Sidwell's stolen phone, so she'll rant about catching Anna red-handed. Anna is trying to copy the chip word from that phone, so she may end up bickering with Holly about Lucky and how they're trying to get him back home to save Lulu Spencer. Unfortunately, another parlous situation is brewing formerly Jason offends Sidwell at the card table. Jason is formerly on Sidwell's bad side for affronting his drink choice and discovering the relief to get him out of that jacket, which gave Anna an occasion to swipe the phone. Now Jason will charge Sidwell of cheating, so a furious Sidwell will deny it. Jason will contend he doesn't lie, so this situation seems poised to escalate snappily as Sidwell hits the roof. Although Jason will keep Sidwell busy like he's supposed to, it'll produce a dangerous dilemma that could get out of hand. General Hospital spoilers say Anna and Jason will both have some tight spots to get out of, so stick with us for prognostications on all the fermentation. General Hospital spoilers reveal that Alexis Davis clearly didn't look thrilled about her new cellmate. Going back to Pendenville is bad enough, but now Alexis has to deal with Heather Weber on top of informally unwelcome experience. Heather sounded pleased to have Alexis for a roomie, but there could be some pressure now that they're living in close diggings. Alexis may not be interested in the girl talk that Heather pushes for and could offend Heather if she suggests they do not converse at all. Heather might lash out if she feels like Alexis thinks she's better than everyone differently. Alexis is innocent, but that doesn't matter at the moment since she's just as much an internee as Heather and the others. Pentonville is a rough place, so Alexis could ultimately land on someone's bad side and find herself in detriment's way. Will that give Heather a chance to come to Alexis' deliverance and win her over? Heather has shown her softer side since her surgery, but she can still hold her own in a fight. The other captures may admire Heather further than Alexis out of fear, so perhaps that'll work to Alexis' advantage if Heather steps up. It's easy to imagine Heather saving Alexis from a captivity attack and earning her gratefulness. It could be the launch of Alexis connecting with Heather and befriending her on some position. Alexis might indeed take over Heather's case once she's eventually cleared in the John Jagger Kate's disquisition, at least if all goes well and she keeps her law license. Anyhow, there's the implicit for Heather and Alexis to develop a strange fellowship so stay tuned to see if some peril and a deliverance might lead to that. Our general hospital prognostications point to Alexis walking free in the not too distant future. Heather's freedom may be on the horizon too despite the recent reversal due to outfitted lab results. General hospital spoilers say Heather and Alexis' cellmate situation will lead to some surprises, so stick with us for updates on how that news will affect their stories. Thanks for watching these videos, please hit the subscribe button for more updated news.